Today is the end of September. And I just realized that my brother's birthday is in December, which is a couple of months away. I saw this great shirt online that will suit him really well. But the problem here is that the shirt costs 1200 rupees. And I just spent all my savings on setting up my bakery. Now what should I do? Ah! Idea! I know what to do. I will save some money in the coming months of October and November. And with this money, I can buy the shirt for my brother. Isn't that great? Now, there are about two months till my brother's birthday. And I will have to save 1200 rupees. Okay? So, instead of saving this amount all at once, I will distribute it across these two months. This means that I will have to save 600 rupees a month. So simple. Wait. You know what's more simple? If I save some amount each day of these months, it's going to be even easier for me, right? So, with each month having about 30 days, I will need to see how much money I can save every day. Hmm. Now, what if I save 10 rupees a day? What will that add up to in 30 days? Okay, so 10 rupees per day for 30 days adds up to 300 rupees. And in 2 months, it adds up to 600 rupees. But that is less than what I have to save in 2 months, which is 1200 rupees. What if I save 20 rupees a day? In 1 month, I have 600 rupees. And in 2 months, I have 1200. Now, isn't this the amount that I need to save my brother's shirt? It is. There's another way I can check whether 20 rupees is the right amount to save in 60 days. For that, all I need to do is break up the 600 rupees into 30 equal parts. So, when I divide 600 rupees equally across 30 days, I get 20 rupees. Now, how did I do this? I first divide 600 by 30. In the next step, we cancel out the zeros in the numerator and denominator. And we then arrive at this answer. 60 divided by 3 equals 20. This process of dividing 600 rupees into 30 days gave me 20 rupees, which is the amount that I arrived at after using a process of estimation. Estimation helps me save a particular amount every day. Using this estimation, I can get a total amount for a given number of days. Usually, estimation can be used for any number of days or for different amounts. Also, estimation helped me calculate a certain amount of money by breaking up the total into smaller bits which gave me the answer of saving 20 rupees per day. Now, with estimation, I can calculate the money I can save. You know what? I can also use estimation to save some more money to buy my dad a new pair of shoes. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.